GPU price is plummeting. AMD's new CPU benchmarks. It's, it's wow. Okay. And Zuckbox. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And we're going to start off talking today by analysts. Analysts coming out and saying that GPU prices will eventually plummet. This is something you probably want to hear. However, it's not a whole lot of new information, to be quite honest. This is just John Petty Research, who does a lot of market research behind a whole bunch of stuff and usually indicates how the sales are going on GPUs, how many GPUs and computers are being sold. They do a whole lot of market analyzation, which is why they're called analysts, which is it's all good stuff. It makes sense. However, they're saying for a lot of the reasons you kind of know about that GPU prices exploded, had to do with the coronavirus, had to do with the Ethereum mining boom. A whole ton of stuff happened and it made it so that GPU prices of MSRPs shot up out to wazoo into the stratosphere. However, it does look like things are going to recover. The average sale price of GPUs in 2021 was nearly $800, and that is unsustainable. One of the things that they do talk about, even though GPU prices aren't back to normal, is the fact that it wasn't actually companies like AMD, Nvidia, Gigabyte, all of them making all of this extra profit because they were still selling their GPUs to the distributors at the same price, and it was actually at the front end where people were making a lot of money. So it was the retailers like Newegg, Best Buy, Amazon, and all of those places that happened to take all of the profit that you were seeing from the prices increasing, including things like Best Buy's Total Tech partnership where you had to pay $200 in order to purchase things. That's where the money was getting filtered through and it wasn't necessarily to AMD and Nvidia. So what's happening now is it looks like prices are falling and it likely will lead to an overstock scenario at these retailers who will then be further incentivized to drop the prices and might even have to eat into some of the profits that they earned previously in order to make sure that they can actually continue to operate things around here. But hopefully it gets better sooner rather than later. Let me know, have you been noticing GPU prices declining? Because they, they have been. They definitely Definitely have been. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've been able to buy GPUs at like freaking Amazon for the first time in forever at like mildly reasonable prices. It's crazy out there. But you know what else is crazy? Crypto stocks. How does it work? Nobody knows. Bitcoin's down 1% to be at 43, 43, 2, 3, 4. Ethereum up 0.3% to be at 32, 2, 4, 1, 7. And Dogecoin down 1% to be at 14.4 cents. And you want to talk about things being on sale? You want to talk about GPU prices being cheaper? It's UFT deals time. We're going to talk about the hottest tech deals that are out on the internet brought to you by by Reese. We've got Lian Lian, their O11D mini case going combined with an SP750 power supply. Go for $170 right now. This is a limited time offer by Lian Lee. $50 off. Looks like a good deal. In case you're looking for a small ATX case with a power supply, Lian Lee might be able to hook you up. In case you want a Western Digital Black 2 terabyte game drive NVMe external SSD, it's going for $180 right now. That is 33% off. That is $90 cheaper than normal. And GPUs, let's talk about it. 6700 XT. It's not the perfect price. Six $632.99 over on Amazon, but you can see it is 30% off what it normally is. It is currently in stock and you can buy it right now. The MSRP of the 6700 XT is actually closer to $480. So it's still $150 more, but you can buy it right now on Amazon for like an already-ish price. That's wild. We're in, a, we're in a new future, friends. And the new future of AMD's chips are the 3D V-Cache that they're gonna be implementing on the upcoming 5800 X3D. But the latest benchmark showed that it doesn't matter in synthetic benchmarks, which is something that reviewers have been trying to say for a while when like outlets compare Cinebench to Cinebench. It really means nothing for how it does in the real world. You can see here in Cinebench R23 that the 5800X3D uh, performs worse than the 5800X because Cinebench is not made to take advantage of the 3D V cache and with the lower clocks that it has in practical applications, it's gonna do worse, which just makes a whole lot of sense. Real world scenario testing, just like Intel wants. And just like I want on Twitter, I want to be left alone. Don't mention me and things. That's a little feisty. But uh, at least Twitter is now giving me the option to unmention myself and things that people mention me. I get tagged in like crypto giveaways all of the time. It's really frustrating to try to look through all that stuff. It's the reason I have notifications turned off on Twitter. Anyways, they're currently testing an unmentioned feature where if you're tagged in something that you don't want to be tagged in, you can untag yourself from all of that. Don't at me, bro. You can't at me. I'm going to remove myself if you at me. And Remedy is going to at Max Payne and give him a remake. Max Payne 1 and 2 getting remade for the PC, PS5, and the Xbox Series consoles being published by Rockstar, being made by Remedy, and being used in the same engine that Control was made in, which happens to be one of the best looking games that's come out in the last few years. So, good stuff. I, I'm excited for this. Let's see how let's see how that goes. And NVIDIA wants you to see how cloud gaming goes with them offering free demos on GeForce Now. Previously, you used to have to have an NVIDIA login and then a login for whatever like Steam service or Origin, wherever you were logging in for the game. However, no longer 
computer. You just need the NVIDIA account and you can log into that and then you can play cloud games to your heart's content and you can potentially pay for it with Zuckbox. Meta coming out and saying that they are considering virtual digital currency, probably not in the cryptocurrency arena. Previously, Meta was working on stuff like Libra and their like own cryptocurrency. This, however, Zuckbox is not likely to be a cryptocurrency, but rather be like Robux. And the fact that they're calling it Zuckbox is odd and Meta is just like exploring these things, including exploring social tokens or reputation tokens that you can earn by being on Facebook. All of this and everything that I kind of have been hearing about Mark Zuckerberg lately and every, all of the moves that Meta has been doing indicates to me that Mark Zuckerberg thinks he's a bigger deal than he actually is. Is that am I wrong here? Like, that's the feeling I'm getting. Like, he thinks that Facebook is like a world government power and that he is the king of that power. There was an episode of Black Mirror like this. Was there? They have social credit. Yeah, there was that that social that that system already exists in China. Like that's a real thing. This is a little different. Like, like maybe that's what they're trying to implement, but it's just like on Facebook. But most people are leaving Facebook at this point. He's a lizard. <laughs> <Like> smoked meats. <laughs> oh, what's it? Sweet, sweet bubble. Baby rays. Yeah, sweet baby rays. Barbecue sauce. Oh my gosh. Maybe throw some sweet baby rays on the ribs and take it from there. Let me know what you think of Zuckbox down below in the comments. And Apple wants you to repair your iPhone X. At least that's the current indication. They came out with new technology that allowed you to repair your iPhone and get Face ID back without having to throw the whole dang phone away. And that was only available on the iPhone XS and above. However, now you can do it to the iPhone X or iPhone 10, whatever it's supposed to be called, which is good news for people who bought that phone in 2018. In case you broke it earlier, now now you can fix it. Hope hope you go back and get. I mean, it's good. Like repairability being increased is a good thing, but it's just it's kind of late. I don't know. It's hard to be happy about things like that that are happening so quickly, but also so shortly at the same time, which kind of describes this episode of Hot News. It's happening quick and slow all at the same time, just just like Mama ordered. I'm so sorry. No. Oh, we'll see you back here tomorrow for twin, my friends, this week in news. Until then, enjoy whatever you do with your life outside of hot news. So that's, uh, that's, that's pretty good.